Today is November the 12th after the market close and we're going to start off looking at a chart of S&P 500 and what we have here after post-election uh, actually we're looking at a post-election chart here and this was the day uh, November 7th uh, this was the election day you have a big candle here on November 7th then November 8th you have a subsequent lot of amount of selling and then on Friday it is stabilized a little bit a large candle here with a body small body but an outside day and then today we had an inside day this candle overshadows this smaller candle in other words this thing the stock market did not move much traded in a very narrow range and then finished the day at 200 day moving average if you notice it all of these av things averages are not violated massively it has not penetrated that and it is still trading right at the edge and one of the things that I want to bring and show you here is this McKellen oscillator. Uh, this thing, uh, let me pull this up and you can see it. The McKellen oscillator here is giving a reading of minus 132, which is not extremely oversold given the fact that this amount of selling is taking place. There. However, the stochastic is very oversold. So the market itself is neutral to, I would say, minus 132 is not enough on it. Usually, if you see minus 200, 250, or 300, then the market gets extremely oversold. Despite that selling, the market is still pretty good and staying here at the 200-day. If it breaks below here, 1380 level, 1383, then we should be looking at some downward motion, and uh, the stocks would consequently follow that. Uh, the market is... Uh, if you look at it the day it, the minute it opened up here and we're going to go five minute chart on it and then this is the drop you see on wednesday morning clear cut and then it dropped some more and then it went up here on monday it gapped up here and traded in a very small narrow range and then finished the day at 1381 it just dropped and tried to go up here but it couldn't carry itself and, and then it finally it just collapsed and the Monday, this is the Monday action here. You can see it gapped up, then ran up a little bit here to 1385 and then dropped again. And it just couldn't carry itself up. Uh, basically, that's what it did. Uh, let's look at another thing here, which is the technology. And I'm going to leave the McKellen oscillator as such and MDX. This is the NASDAQ technology. You can see here once uh, in in a year this is the third time it has almost come to 200 day moving average and it came here on November uh, 25th when the market was very nasty and after that it really rallied up here and then it came down here again in uh, June 1st and then it really rallied up here the market the fresh market came in and now it has dropped here to 2500 almost 2586 almost those levels in June slightly higher and it hasn't stopped going down yet it's making us some kind of a bottom here if you look at it there are three candles here and two of them is are almost do not have not penetrated this trend line which is at 2569 so the market is probably basing here but every time it has fallen like this usually it rises quite a bit with it and given the fact with that is the main stock in it which is 18 percent of ndx which is apple and you can see this has a high on september 21st and then it has fallen here and cascaded in a waterfall but this waterfall action accelerated uh, right after the election on wednesday and it gapped down and it, it just slammed here about 45 points in two days hurting investors uh, retirement accounts anything that you have owned people own Apple a lot and uh, that has just flattened this thing out you could see it's trying to make some kind of a bottom here and it is unable to go below 537 usually that's 533 is the limit it had it can go it has gone and now it's trying to make a bottom here today it tried to go up a little bit but it finished the day at 542 let's see what happens here but this is a very bearish pattern that uh, the stock has formed and unless it goes up to here which is 593 the 200 day moving average we can expect some more control in the hands of the bears so the market direction is very precarious it's just sitting at this edge like a humpty dumpty and now also the apple is below 200